you can watch Netflix in a Tesla. You can watch Hulu if you live in the US. I do not, so I cannot. You can also watch girls in their birthday suit playing games on Twitch. I'm sure that's going to go over well when you're sitting at a charger. Um, and I said recently, you could also watch Disney Plus if you wanted to, but because Elon Musk had a hissy fit and said something to the CEO of Disney, I think CEO bought Bob Iger, something like that, uh, rumors started spreading that uh, Disney Plus have been removed and people are showing and saying it is it is gone now. So I'm going to show you that today is Disney Plus indeed gone from my Tesla. Now, uh, yeah, you're going to need a stiff drink for this. I already got one, so uh, Merry Christmas. This is going to be stupid. And um, I'm sorry if you didn't know any of this, but I have to put this into your head. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Cheers and, and Merry Christmas. Mm. Diplomatico. Now... Tesla releases a lot of software updates for the cars, and sometimes you get new features. It is rare that features are getting removed. So around Christmas time, which is now Christmas 2023, a week before Christmas, I got the first of two updates. And uh, Tesla has a habit of uh, getting us new features and new functionality in the cars, and I bought mine three years ago. And this year I got, for example, now I have Apple uh, Podcasts. I already have Apple Music, but now I have the Apple Podcast app. So if you live the Apple lifestyle uh, and you listen to podcasts using the Apple app, I can also listen to them directly in the car, which is cool. I also got a new, features, uh, a new feature that was something you could choose, choose a locking sound of the car because it has speakers underneath of the car to um, alert pedestrians. Um, you can now choose what sound this could play, like a charging sound or... Because it's Tesla, it's also a farting sound. <laughs> but you can also uh, put an, a wave file on the USB hard drive that you're already recording your Sentry cameras to, and maybe you have the MP3, MP3 files there. And I'm going to, uh, in this Christmas, I think I'm going to use the sound of a vault closing perhaps in Fallout 3 or New Vegas, where you hear a lot of alarms going on and crunching, and it's a different story, a different video. So, usually new features. Uh, there was also another big media uh, drama, and I don't follow the media much anymore, because specifically if something about Tesla, you know it's usually clickbait and perhaps not the entire truth. There, were truth. there was something else about... Uh, a recall of millions of Teslas, and I, I heard someone who was uh, buying, uh, went into a Mercedes dealership, and so uh, they had printed out a page where they said something about, uh, look at this, Tesla has to recall millions of cars because of safety. And be yeah. even before they got done with that, it was a software update that rolled out, it was something about, they have to be a bit more stringent and firm in when they are uh, alerting people not that they are not paying attention when it runs in autopilot uh, because people have been trying to avoid it or evade it and just not keeping attention to the road and so that's the thing but if you read the news it was like 2 million Teslas have to be returned to their service center to, to, be, uh, to be modified it's over the air update. So with that mindset, I must admit I didn't pay too much attention about that whole drama thing about Disney Plus, but uh, I, it keeps showing up on my feed on YouTube, so I figured I better have to take a look at it. So I am on the advanced track. When you own a Tesla, you can decide which software track you want to be on, on the standard or advanced. And what the advanced means is that you get new features faster. It also means that they might have some bugs in them that wouldn't be there in the standardized version. But I am on the advanced track, and I got the Christmas version uh, this week, and I got another version just today. And again, if you don't know, the Christmas version has come to be a tradition where Tesla usually re reveal new features. Rarely do they take away old features. That's with features like you can use x Lite and open source software. We could program lights like Christmas lights in the house, and you could program your Tesla to do all kind of things like a live show. That was one of the things. Apple Music came last year, um, a title. This year I got um, Apple, uh, what's it called? Apple Podcasts, which I, I I look forward to. And I will be 
using it a bit, it signs into your Apple account and you can then, uh, I had to use my a Apple phone and a QR code came up and I could synchronize with my, uh, my Apple podcast so I have them directly on the screen, which is cool. But because I had seen the headlines and some people talking about this getting removed, uh, the Disney Plus, I took a look at the first update. Uh, I went into the theater and I looked and I could see that indeed Disney Plus was still there. I did not um, try it, but people have told, I said that it has been removed the feature. So if you want to see Disney Plus, you have to open the browser and log in with the browser instead. So it was not removed this time around. Um, so today I went out driving and when I got to the car, I said there was a new update and they wanted to schedule it. And I wanted to schedule an update. It usually takes half an hour. And so it's cool that you can set it to update in the middle of the night instead of when you're just about to drive because it will not be able to drive for that duration the update takes. So when I came back, instead of um, waiting until tonight, uh, I decided to activate the update at once directly. And I took my phone and, and set it to update. And I got the update. And it said it was just a minor bug fix. And maybe it's to to handle that thing about the autopilot because it was a bit too finicky the, in the Christmas update. It said, keep your eyes on the road. And I, my eyes were on the road, maybe in the side mirror. But I mean, it was a bit much. I don't. I hope they don't haven't rolled back the wiper feature, the uh, rain sensor, because Tesla does something unnecessary, complicated, where they um, use the machine learning and the cameras to t detect rain on the windshield and that usually it doesn't work too well when it's completely dark outside but i with the christmas update it actually worked so well that i didn't feel like i needed to fiddle fiddle with the stock and manually activate the wipers or change the speed or anything so i hope that continues to work in the last patch i got just today so i went out and looked at that patch the second patch here and that's the way i want you to tell me if you own a tesla and indeed it was removed for your car because when I looked at the secondary update, and I am on the advanced track, Disney Plus was still available. So I have no interest in Disney Plus or any of the other streaming services to watch in my car, but for me, it wasn't removed yet. Now, that's not to say it can't be removed in the future if Elon Musk is still angry about Disney didn't want to pay for advertising on Twitter or something like that. That was the reason he got angry at them and he told Bob Iger that he could go F himself. I think I can say this this far into the video if I haven't already said it. Um, it's a bit of a clown world. And if he truly did that, remove it from the cars because of that, he's just a big baby. It's, nothing, <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. That's not going to stop me from buying a Tesla again if I would be able to be afforded. Um, but there's something to be said about the world we're living today where features we bought and paid for are be taken away for, from us. I care less about Disney Plus. If I owned a Sony PlayStation and I paid for a lot of movies I had bought, as they call it, uh, those are going to be taken away this year from people who spend a lot of money buying movies on their PlayStation. And, and we've seen this before on many other services that something expires that you thought you paid for. And that's a sad turn that the world is taking, I think. Um, yeah, it's it's stupid. And I still have Disney Plus that I'm not going to use. So if nothing else, let me know if it has been removed for your car. And um, it's probably going to be the last video of the year on this channel. So Merry Christmas. See you around. Cheers.